we have to go out and find well-rounded individuals. And, you know, the great thing when we're out and about recruiting the state is coming across, you know, future prospects that grew up understanding and knowing and, and wanting to be a part of the university. When you look back, both on the men's and women's side, uh, the number of All-Americans, the number of NCAA champions, uh, the number of Olympians that we've had. You know, here we are, we're two years out now uh, from, uh, from Rio, and you know, currently we have anywhere from five to eight of our current student athletes that have a chance to represent uh, their countries at the, at the Olympic Games. And, and for our sport, obviously that's the pinnacle. And, uh, but for, for everybody involved in our program, you know, everything starts obviously with contributing to conference titles. That's very important for us to, you know, be fighting, whether it's indoors or out, uh, vying for those conference championships. And with the strength of our conference in the Big 12, if we're able to achieve that, then obviously we're going to be one of the top programs in the country as well and be, uh, be vying for those, uh, for those national championships. Obviously with the efforts of Randa Ryan and her staff and uh, behind the scenes, you know, is going to aid us in achieving, you know, a win-win situation because, you know, we talk about to our student athletes, we cannot get upside down in the classroom. They've got to stay on task every single day. Most importantly, when we're going out and recruiting, you know, future, future student athletes, uh, if it's just about track and field, then Texas is not the place. You know, we want people that understand the process, whether their goals and aspirations are to be a future Olympian, an All-American, an NCAA champion, or just contributing to a conference title. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is that they walk across the stage and that they're getting their degree. Uh, if we don't have that, then again, Texas is not the right place for you. And so that's where I feel like our staff has done a phenomenal job in going out and finding the very best of the best that fit the mold for what the University of Texas wants and needs. 